basically disabling the torque management on the engine side, but leaving it on the trans side for the shift, you're going to be seeing why you want to do this. So let me go ahead, open up my first data log here. We're looking at log one here, click open. So we're going to be seeing here, now that we have our data log open, we have all of our data plotted in this window. I use my little scroll bar down here at the bottom. We're going to be taking a look at where I just ran through a quick gear shift. I did one, two. This is going to be engine RPM in first gear, second gear, third gear. And we can see that the green line here is going to be vehicle speed. And looking, our torque here is in the orange. You can see where that's at. Um, we can see what our spark timing is doing. And then we can see what our torque management is doing. And the torque management is going to be what we're most interested in at this point. And we can see when we look at a gear shift, let's say, this is going to be the one, two shift. We can look here at the torque management. It's pulling out around 18, 19 degrees ignition timing. We can see it dip down and come back up again. And then on the next gear shift, it does the same thing. It goes in and it pulls out uh, approximately, let's look here, 20 degrees ignition timing on the two, three shift. And then on the three, four shift, it doesn't actually pull anything. And that's because if we jump back into the calibration file here, into trans, and the torque reduction, we're going to be seeing on the three, four shift, this table zeroed out. It doesn't have any torque reduction stock. So if we look here, again, we don't see any of that torque management being pulled out. But the other thing that we have to keep in mind looking at this is that torque management is not only applying itself on the gear shift, it's kicking itself in just in normal part throttle operation. If we look here, uh, what we need to note, spark timing is at 33 degrees. And as soon as the torque management starts to kick in here, we're going to be finding that the spark timing jumps down to 20 degrees part throttle. It's pulling out, you can see 12 degrees ignition timing, and then it comes back up again and starts operating right back into the normal table values. We can see a gear shift happens, and again, they're going to see this happen twice. It's going to, torque management is going to kick in for no reason. It's going to pull the spark timing down. We can see it pull down right here as torque management kicks in. When we go through here, we can see this happen again. Torque management kicks in, pulls the spark timing down, and so on and so on. And as we pan through the log, we're going to be seeing a lot of this occurring. And this is going to be a premature uh, ignition timing retard. It's not going to be based on knock retard. So it's not burst knock. It's not knock retard. It's this torque management that's going to be essentially screwing with our ignition timing, which we don't want. So I went in. I've applied. Oops, let's go back here to our editor. I went in and.